Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to XCOM. Uh, last time, I don't even know what happened last time. Let's get moving. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just playing with you. We got through the heck of a mission at that uh, bomb disposal. Uh, we are pretty close to losing some folks there, honestly, for a little bit. With those Thin Man drops now, lesson learned, right? For everyone doing that map, when you're ready to set up on the bomb, just get up on the goddamn roof. That's what Long War has taught you. Learn it. Love it. Okay. It's all right. No, Zeppelin, no, anyway. Anyway, anyway, uh, we have a lot of money. We have no alloys. We want laser cannons. That's not happening, but, 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 we have one foundry project I've been putting off because of lack of funds. We now have funds. And that is, my good friends, this. It is improved medikit. It'll be six uh, heal off of one medkit. That is epically awesome. Uh, I do kind of want mag pistols in a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's that's minor. We can probably afford this as well. The most important thing, though, is improved med kit. That's huge. Want to move to ammo conservation at some point, but look at this. We're shine allies. <laughs> Go figure. All right, anyway, I think this is important to do because uh, we've been putting this off for a while. It's only six days. Let's get that going. We have 45 credits left. Now that we're going to have carapace armor all around, I probably want to do this, the security training and armor, uh, just so they can equip the extra phalanx when the base defense does happen, so you don't forget about it. We don't have the weapons for this yet, but at least the armor may help. So I'm going to do this as well, and we can obviously cancel this if we need to, but for now, let's do security training, armor, three days, 20 credits, I'll no waiting. Begins immediately. Thank you. As soon as we've got Thank you, Shen. Uh, yeah, alright. Anyway, onward. What do we got? Yay, Carapace Armor! It's almost our last set, honestly. UFO countermeasure is about to be up. Ah, oh, finally, now our fighters are going to be even more... Abduction! Modrit in Russia. Well, Kazani. No, давай. Пошел. Пошли. Пошли. Пошли на фронт. All right. Well, we have a mission in Russia, so you know what that means. We're going to kill some aliens in Russia. That's all that means. All right. Uh, Krungle's still pretty far away. I mean, we don't have... We're very close, honestly, to a uh, Master Sergeant slash Lieutenant 5, maybe even Captain at some point when we promote. Uh, we do need money for that, too. I really need officer stuff as well, but first is equipment. Uh, but we're going to give Krungle a break a little bit. We've been using Krungle a lot. We're going to get Zhang in on this action. He's about to be promoted. That means we're going to take Archangel as our officer, Zhang as our infantry. I mean, I really feel like those are like the core units. I always take like the core units on this stuff. It's kind of weird, man. Um, I really want to take, keep taking Leif right now, uh, not necessarily because I think he's the world's greatest scout, because he totally is anyway, uh, but the, the other reason I want to take Leif is that his movement is a little low, and to make concealment really work for me, uh, I want him to have Sprinter. So I'm going to keep taking Leif on these missions as our scout, just as much as I can to get him to Sprinter. Uh, the rest of our scout's movement is actually pretty damn good, so I'm not too, altogether too worried about that. Uh, we need an assault of some sort. I guess Zergen and or Commando. Uh, Zergen is a little way from promotion, but Commando's ripe for one, so let's get him out in the field. Uh, now we have tactical and scout snipers, so now we need weapons and support. So, I guess we can take Van Dorn. The question is, how close are we to this covert op? Four days, so we roll okay on fatigue. We should be able to have a pretty decent squad for the covert op as well. What is our actual fatigue looking like? Um, ah, two days. Shadow will be there. Perfect. All right. No worries. Uh, I was wondering which sniper I'd have to take. Uh, but we also could take Hank out at some point. Maybe we should take Hank out, honestly. I kind of want Hank to start getting a little better than he is. And this is a light abduction. Let's actually take Hank, I think. I need to change this squad out a little bit. Hold on. I just had a plan. Now it's changed. It's changed! It's changed! Go away, go away, go away, go away. All right, try this again. We need to take Hank out for experience. <laughs> Rewind your brain for just two seconds, okay? Yeah, that'll be good. Hank, welcome. Welcome, friend. That means you need an officer in Krungle because this is what we do. I explained Leif already. I explained Commando already. So now that, that, that core is done. Let's keep going. I haven't seen Zoidberg in a while. Uh... But if we have a very mobile type mission, I may need to take him on. I haven't seen Zoidberg out in the field in quite a while, though Jolie, Jolie is really close. Really close to promotion. I mean, 400 away, but he's closer than Zoidberg. Not that. We're kind of waiting on dense smoke with him, or combat drugs. My guess is going to be dense smoke. Uh, you know, just for the sake of argument, let's take Zoidberg out. 
Haven't seen Dwarves Brigand in a while. Welcome! Woo, 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 woo. All right, now we need a support type unit. And the issue is here, I still, I'm gonna keep doing this, sorry. If it bugs anyone, I'm sorry. Uh, we still do not have alien containment ready. So arc throwers are of limited use right now. We can get some extra alien weapons, but really I got my grenade, so I don't particularly care about getting anything else. So that aside, aside, uh, let's get a engineer in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Our next one is excellent support engineer or sugar the destruction engineer. Uh, since we're taking Zoidberg as our medic, 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 uh, we're gonna take excellent with the smoke grenades. That makes more sense, I think. Now we need a rocketeer and a gunner. Uh, let's take. Oh, I haven't taken Tyler because we haven't had a lot of mobile missions lately. So I'm gonna give Tyler the nod. I may spec Tyler. Well, not spec him, but um, give Tyler a large gun to use, namely the um, machine gun. Simply because, like, his movement's really not that great anyway, so his auto laser slash saw type weapon is not going to help him that much. It may actually be really useful just to have a big old nasty gun uh, available for him. And that, in that case, platform stability might be wise, though resilience is so good and danger zone is so good. Ah, goddammit, I don't even know. Whatever. Planning for the future. Uh, and then last but not least, we need a Rocketeer. That one guy and the tank are both up. Who's closer? That one guy is obviously closer. Uh, so let's go with this, that one guy, yeah, that makes sense. All right, we good? We good. Now let's make items available and kit some folks out. Are we, <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. How close are we to alien grenades? Oh, we should be really close to alien grenades, actually. Five hours. Yeah, we're gonna let this one roll a second. Thank you. That's what I wanted to see. Ah, it's been, it's, it's been too long. Now we can go because now we got it. Hey, yeah, look at that. Oh, he knows. He's like, that's my stuff. All right, we got smoke grenade baseline, smoke and mirrors. Uh, the question is, do I want a chem or a flash? Chem is useful outside of just pure um, capture stuff. So I'm going to take a set of chems on me um, just because, you know, that's still really good. And let's take a laser rifle and just call it a day. Yeah. All right, beautiful. We have seven sets of Carabas armor. I'm not sure who I'm gonna get the Phalanx to. Probably my Rocketeer still for now, just for movement. But now I have alien grenades. Oh, look at that. We're gonna be able to really destroy cover pretty easily, even without Sapper, so that's pretty good. Uh, Hank Odin, uh, now that he's got a sniper rifle uh, snapshot ability, we're gonna give him that. Carapace, because he's flimsy. Bipod, because he needs all the help he can get on aim. Scope, kind of the same way. 99 aim now with all those extras. That's pretty good, and I don't want to give him a heater because it kills his motion even more, so let's not do that. Krangle. Uh, carapace armor. Heavy laser. Scope. And do we get extra ammunition? Or an extra flash? Uh, we probably will still take the extra flash in case something really haywire hits. Uh, since we're not taking flashes on our backups. Uh, so what do we got here? Carapace for sure. Laser rifle because we don't want you to die. I could take double scatter laser this time too. And scatter laser from concealment would be good. Ew, that's a really good question. Do I take... He's not really specced for, like, come out and murder. He's more like stay behind cover and get good crits with the laser rifle. You know, let's take the laser rifle here, and I feel like he's lacking or something. I'll take uh, I'll take the scatter laser next mission. But I, I kind of feel like Leif needs a laser rifle for the way I use him for the most part. Um, and we have a flash as backup. That makes sense. I think ceramic plate makes sense on our scouts until we get chameleon stuff. I mean, I do want to get chameleon uh, suits as well. That'll be with his 90 credits. I think I'm going to get that, honestly, as the next item. But anyway, I digress. Uh, scatter laser for sure for commando just because rage. Uh, pistol is fine. Flashbang and ceramic plating. Is that three flashes that we have? Yeah, we have three flashes. And I love flashbangs. I love chems. And I love me some grenades. So we're doing pretty good. Zoidberg, Zoidberg, oh my god, what do you got? You got opportunists and extra medkits. You know what, let's just take extra medkits. He's kind of designed for that. Uh, carapace on you, because you can still move like the wind. Uh, that works for me. And uh, we may be taking some good hits. This is a medium mission, so we'll have a couple more pods than we normally used to. Carapace for sure. Auto laser and a scope. Beautiful. And Dachab. Now that we have Shredder ammo baseline, uh, we're going to do the thing with the scope so we can move and fire without necessarily having to steady and still have decent aim. Shatter Ray for movement, Phalanx Armor for movement. We are suddenly a mobile Rocketeer. I like me some of that. 
and the hit points ain't too bad either. Nine is nine is within acceptable tolerances, let's put it that way. So we have Shredder for any mech pods, we have Chem for any um, standing mech pods. Hank for destroying stuff, Krungle for destroying stuff. I'm, I'm almost debating, oh, I don't have an extra scope, do I? Hold on, do I have an extra scope? I do not. Okay, I was about to say, maybe we should put an extra scope on Leif, just have him hit his targets a little more, but no, we're good. All right, so pretty good, I think, uh, as far as this squad goes. We have an almost full set of armor. We have laser weaponry. Give me a medium mission. Let's let's take it down. Let's take it down. Roadway corridor, so Hank's going to have a field day, let's hope, unless it's a damn fountain mission, and then... Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of thinking out loud here, but also, I mean, obviously one of the reasons I didn't want to go... Scatter laser on Touching Leif is down. because I know it's about to expire, so we're going there. That's why we're going there. Begin assault. Um, I don't want to take a scatter laser on a roadway. We'll be deploying to Russia for this. Oh one. shit! This, this roadway. Major city as the Enduring pipe. The, <laughs> the world's greatest city. pipeline. All right. Well, this mission can either go great or go horrible, or it can go okay. Uh, but really, the the worst part is we can get contact right from the get go, and then. That giant construction site in the middle sort of splits the map in half. And that does not help things. And where the hell do they put me? Jesus, are you serious right now? Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Alright. My bullshit meter is going crazy right now, just given how there's no cover here. There is no cover available whatsoever. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? So before we even freaking move, I need to throw a scan. I need to know if I can get to this cover back here. Because right now, there's nothing out here. There's nothing. And if we get caught out here by a mech pod, we are absolutely boned. So we need to see if we can run into this cover freely. Let's go out here. Make sure there's no pods. And if we need to freaking just sit in Overwatch. Okay. I was worried because it was a medium map and there's a high probability of nasty pods, but we're going to do the sensible thing and sprint all the way back here Roger, along the side of the map and get to cover and then advance that way because advancing here is just suicide. It's just insane. It's stupid. Roger, and we're going to get the hell out of here while we can. Except for Hank. Hank's gonna set up here because he can just freaking start unloading if need be. It, uh, and then Tyler, yeah, we need to get everyone the hell out of here. Get everyone back here before we engage that pod or whatever pod comes our way. Remember, we're looking at four pods or so. Three pods for a light mission. Four pods maybe, or just three really big ones. Depends on how the AI feels that day. Um, usually it feels like murdering me, so I'm not really holding out hope for much. So happy to have alien grenades now, though. It's going to make uh, Excellent even more flexible with his support and other stuff as well. And yeah, we're going to keep our keep this idea moving pretty much with everyone. Save Hank. Uh, and let's see what we got. Zoidberg, yeah, you need to keep rolling. I have a feeling we're going to need medkits this mission. Lots and lots of medkits. All right, Hank, uh, overwatch for now and see what happens. I really hope nothing pats into me at this point. We have a lot of vision. Thin men, okay. Doesn't sound like much else besides. So that's encouraging, I guess. It's probably Seekers and Thin Men. So maybe medium, but it looks like they may have gone for another quasi-eco round, uh, the aliens. Right, let's start taking cover positions, because this can go to hell in a handbasket really quickly. Um, with the guys that we need to fire with. What what to fire with? Am I am I withing too much? Too many prepositions? Yeah. All right, Krungle, yeah, get behind those positions. We'll need you for sure. Yeah, Zoidberg, I'm less worried about just because he can move to any kind of cover position needs, and I need to on, have move. that one guy ready with his rocket in case you take bad contact to clear up the the AO, so to speak. Oh my God, look at me! All these like totally cool clutch names and stuff. Oh my God! All right, Commando, rocking out. Uh, yeah, because of where we started, and because that there could have been a pod here. Um, I'm just taking way. this uber slow right now. It's just a lot of I'm on the move. potential death here that I don't want to necessarily experience. So we're, why are you, why do you have something negative, Hank? Why do you have a negative indicator? Now you don't. 
Don't do that shit, Hank. All right, so we're good. Uh, we're gonna overwatch and maybe a paddle run into us. If not, we'll actually be able to get in decent cover and do some good stuff with this. There's a floater pod out there. Okay. All right, there's a floater pod out there. Um, stranger shit has happened. Then a floater pod, obviously, because floater pods are not that strange. Commando, I want up here. Moving to position. We know there's a floater pod out there. Uh, Leif, I want to keep moving him out here just so we can start getting the high cover. Is there any high cover elements here? There's really not. It's all, um, it's all uh, half cover, which is why I'm so glad I have extra smoke grenades. Yeah, early on in this mission, remember last time I think we were here, we had a pretty rough go of it. Um, just because we were not prepared, we didn't have smokes really. And we got hit pretty hard when we were least expecting it. So I'm going to take okay. Krungle out here since we know those floaters are out there. We're going to keep overwatching. Uh, we need to get, damn it, we need to get Tyler to a better position uh, and be able to overwatch it. We need to work, we need some walker servos for that man's stat. Oh, uh, God, Leif, I want to make sure he can conceal him, uh, but I can't really do that yet, Holy so we we'll put him in this cover. Yeah, we got, basically we took some folks with worse movement saying, oh, it'll probably be fine, and then we got stuck out in the middle of frickin' no man's land with patrols available, so the game has a sense of irony sometimes. We have disc. We have disc. We have disc and we have thin mans. Okay. So it could be worse, but let's take Leif out here, let him do his job, yeah, namely on. to get concealed and stay that way. Okay. So far so good. I think I'm gonna I don't wanna toss another scan out yet since I do have probably seekers to contend with. Hank is gonna have a lot of good aim from this position. So I'm right just kinda leaving him here. We have if there's floaters of foot, uh, we'll know pretty quickly. Alright. Um I mean Commando does need to keep running up here. But I don't necessarily waste Ready his move in case it really bad comes our way. Nothing that way. It's just we constantly have that disc to worry about and that is just freaking frightening as far as I'm concerned. Right, we're gonna keep leapfrog in here a little bit. I'm rolling excellent can cover whoever needs covering with smoke and we can also get to our own cover commander can get the yeah okay good so we can always hunker if need be you have seen i think he needs to be up here with the uh with the explosives in case the disc comes over that truck okay. tyler what with the creator and all needs to go there zoidberg i'm not really worried about zoidberg's movement krungle Let's go right, here. Commander. I know it's not the best position for Krungle, but I want to be able to use the Overwatch in case something comes over that ridge. Uh, Zoidberg, pretty much the same right, idea here. Just lock it down, Overwatch, and go from there. Uh, Odin, aim up. Overwatch. Let's yeah, just Overwatch everyone else. On Overwatch. They're still there. I know they're there. Did you hear something? I did. They're floaters. Oddly enough. Cyber disc. Okay. Well, let's head out with Leif for now and see if we'll be okay from here. Still concealed. I'm gonna still roll to concealment and see what we can see. There may be something out here. Let's take a peek out in this direction. Okay, we have a ninja uh, making sure that we're good. And it's kind of like a quasi battle scanner at this point. Uh, I really wish he had Sprinter. Really do. Okay, you've seen that one guy. Is that, is that funny? I think that's actually a a line of some sort. You've seen that one guy? He crazy. Uh, we do want Krungle here for the nasty Already guns there. when it comes up. We'll probably activate the floaters with this. There we go. Just counting on that. I was counting on that. And now we got some work. Hank, you got a flank. Hank got a flank! on that poor ugly bastard, which is great because he's the one in full cover, so that death needs to happen yesterday, but I'll settle for today. Thank you, Hank. Beautiful. Odin letting it fly. All right, now. Commander, be up there. They don't know Leif is here, which is brilliant, until they flank him, uh, but we'll find that out the hard way. Yeah, let's see how concealment works on this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. 
uh, but we will find this out. All right, Tyler, I don't want him to get flanked out here. It's pretty easy. And it looks like we're clear up here on patrols, so let us do... We need to play a little defensive here. And let's read this ability. Smoke grenade, once per mission, smoke at first 20, da da Taking the perk on level, also using the smoke first action, not end your turn. Okay. This is not a free action. It's just a not end your turn action. This is pretty good. We'll have corner cover and smoke grenade. We should be able to deal with this pretty on handily. Hey, buddies. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, we're going to smoke up. Yeah, taste the rainbow, baby. Get on a little bit of uh, floater kill and duty and take this mission step by step. I haven't seen any meld yet, so there's really no point rushing for it. Um, it's just not wise right now. This is getting flanked, yeah. So I'm kind of glad I have this position. Hey, how's your rocket? How's your rocket arm doing? Doing pretty good? Doing pretty good? You want to you kill some stuff? How far can this rocket spatter? It shouldn't scatter altogether too much. Let's keep unloading. Um, a little bit of kills never never hurt. Do we need to waste this now? Well, we heard Cyber Disc. There could be nastier packs. I'm gonna use some discretion and maybe not unload the rocket yet. Let me get Tyler down here overwatching. That one guy is gonna steady in case we need to do some close range stuff. Zoidberg, I think. I mean, he has so much movement, it's just ludicrous, but we have all these positions already taken. There's not that much cover here. Let's put Zoidberg on this corner in case something does come out of that way. Let's overwatch in case something starts to roll out. I don't think Commando actually has a decent shot on anything right now. 27. Rapid fire, the odds get lower. <laughs> yeah, that's just silliness. Let's... Oh, maybe we can flashbang these poor bastards. Oh, uh oh, maybe, maybe. Hold on. No, basically one or the other. Pick one is the, is the, is the uh, answer of the day. Or that one. Let's just hunker for now and um, get ready to roll. And of course the disc makes an appearance now. It has not spied us yet. I think the only reason that disc is not activated is because life is invisible. And that's pretty cool. That's a shank. Revealed. Crap. Now the disc is going to be active. Position. That's a flank? Seriously? That easily? Son of a gun. These guys have improved their movement capability. A little help over here, please. Suppression. That's fine. But now we have a little bit of disc to worry about. Enemy and that is not what I wanted to see on my day off. Alright. <sighs> Alright, Hank. I need you to start doing work for me, buddy. We need to clear that suppression. That's job one. That's a big suppression. Though. That guy has got a lot of power on him. Can we shred? Can we get a shredder rocket out to that disc? Or are we still too far away? We know that disc is right out there. We can't see it right now, but we know it's there. So we can totally get a rocket on these drones and deal with that disc. I think that's going to be job one. Otherwise, we're dead. So let's get that rocket going. We should have three shreds on that. In mayhem, that'll be pretty good. Yep. But those freaking drones are still alive, and that is not what I expected. They're getting tougher, and that's getting irritating. Leif, get hollow up, please. Uh, kill this bastard for me. Or totally miss on an 85% shot, because that's what we need now with a disc in play. Totally. That's exactly what we need. Alright, Krungle needs to start unloading. Oh, uh, Krungle has suppression. That's right. That's the problem with this. This idea. Alright. Step one. You're not the one suppressing. It's that other good little bastard that's suppressing. So we can probably not get suppressed down if we have a good aim on Hank, which we may not at this point. The problem is the flank that I'm worried about. Zoidberg needs to roll out here. He should be okay and not in the oh, Cyberdisc's Overwatch range. Uh, he doesn't have anything available. Crap. Okay. Oh, God. I hate this map. This map just always ends badly for me in some way. I always, always regret having to play it. Well, we can clear the suppression here. 
I think that's actually one of the best uses of Alien Grenade right now. Despite this floater being a colossal pain in the ass and deserving to die, I think this is going to be important. We can do damage here and stop the Overwatch. I mean the uh, suppression. So that needs to end right now. Yeah, let's do that. Can we have both of them? Nah, we can't. Let's just pick the one that's being annoying. Hey, buddy. Do you like grenades in the face? Catch. Catch, indeed. Bye. Alright. Suppression dealt with. Now Krungle can do work. Tyler, I need you to at least get a hollow or maybe hit that damn thing. That'd be nice. That's nice damage. I'll take me some of that. Alright, Hank. We got 84 on that one. Let's unload. There we go. Multiples of four. Finally, he's gotten over his his issue. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Alright, Krungle. We don't know if you have covering fire. Let's find out. Well, we know he did. Alright, the concern is now obviously the disc. If it comes in and flanks, we may have serious trouble. Um, but that's what Overwatch is for to an extent. I'm really worried about Krungle because that disc can pretty much come anywhere and get an easy move. But it's out here, so it may not flank right off. I'm going to depend on that to keep my guys alive. <laughs> You're like, are you insane? Yeah, probably. Uh, we also have Thin Men. If we engage those Thin Men too early, we're going to be in trouble. What I'm going to do probably, though, is put Commando hey, here. Now. Since we have no risk of flanks from that position anymore. Overwatch that. Overwatch on Krungle. Or do I just get the hell out with Krungle? Like, where can the disc really roll to? The disc is kind of out here right now. Krungle needs not to die. We know the disc is on Overwatch. I'm not sure. Because it does. The discs do have disturbing amounts of movement sometimes, but again, I'm not sure which way it's going to go. Uh, I really don't have much choice. It's kind of half a dozen. I mean, six of one, half a dozen of the other. I'm not really certain. You're going to repair the disc because you're an asshole. Yep. Disc got repaired by three. That's not what I wanted to see. Oh, God, there's another drone. I didn't see three activate, I only saw two. That's bullshit. That's scary with hollow targeting because that disc can totally get an easy shot. Oh god! That's close proximity! That's close proximity! Grenade. Okay. That hurt. Those alien grenades are getting scary. Now Krungle is awfully close to biting it. Okay, well. As they say in the street, shit just got real. And we obviously, for some reason, cannot see any of the things that are trying to annihilate us right now. Thanks to some careful quirk of design, I guess. We need to unload on this immediately. Krungle needs to back the hell off. Otherwise, Krungle is dead. Um, I think we can get... Uh, Krungle's, I mean, the infirmary for a very long time. Good God. All right, yeah, they're, they're, um, their grenades got better. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Commando, drop it right in the Cyberdisc's face, and say, what's up? Hey, Vegeta, what's up? Because uh, he needs to die yesterday. Hank, can you see this ugly bastard? I said, Hank, can you see this ugly bastard? That's the one thing he can see, thankfully. The other thing we can do with Excellent is we can put um, Chem up here. Now, I'm betting on the fact that I can kill this disc in one go. So this is the one time I could probably get chem on a disc by bouncing it off of this, but I'm not entirely certain since so it doesn't highlight the damn thing. You know, I don't want to risk screwing that up. I may just have to toss an alien grenade at some point. Well, let's just see. If the alien grenade can hit it, which it can, we'll likely be able to get the chem up there as well. Yeah, but Krungle does need to retreat. That's going to have to be job one, I think, is just getting Krungle the hell out of there and getting Zoidberg to heal Krungle up. But this is, this is getting flanked. Uh, not, here is okay, though. All right. So unfortunately, one of our biggest guns, namely Krungle, is not going to be available. 
We do have heat ammo still, so I think step one is remains get camera down commando right up next to this bastard and rapid fire. So let's do that. Aye, aye, commander. You need to do some big damage, buddy. You need to do some big damage. Nice nine crit. That would have been 14 if not for the DR. That's after shred, too. Jesus Christ, this thing's durable. All right. I need to get Krungle out of here. There's no real choice here. Yeah, I want to command and get uh, another shot from Commando, but that's not going to fly. If I unload a rocket here, I, mean, I should be fine. Now, where was that rocket aim before that I had? Yeah, right here. Should be okay. You shouldn't detonate the car. Keyword shouldn't. The most, my biggest concern is that I'm just kind of on the wrong side of this, this car for this rocket. Wow, yeah, we're gonna be taking some hits on this mission, uh, no doubt about it. Roger that. I want to kill the disc with this guy. We're gonna need to kill the disc with this guy, but um, at this point, my options are limited to do so. All right. I think we need to leverage Excellence Grenade. Even though it's not got heat. So, how far can you run, man? Uh, not that far. Because if this rocket scatters in the wrong direction, I may kill my own folks by a pretty comfortable margin. I'm going to hope, though, if I can pinpoint that Oh, I can't even watch. I need to pinpoint that shot. Oh, freaking pinpoint. That one guy. I love you, man. That was freaking amazing. That was freaking amazing, that shot right there. Oh, God, yes. I needed that. But without that, we would have had a problem. I think we can now annihilate the disc. 61 is not great. We can get hollow up with... Um, Leif, however, and that's going to make this easier. 88. Maybe we can kill a disc now if Leif gets good connection. Yep. That's a kill. Oh, shit. Now, however, the car is on fire. And we got to get Commando out of there. He's going to take it in the face. Um, the only way to do that safely is to get Krungle out here. That's affirmative. Not quite safe. But I think Zoidberg can actually get up there and heal. I'm a turn away from... Damn it. So we need to get Commando out of there. Because if that car blows, he's going to take way more damage than I can heal. Oh, God. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Because, yeah, this is just an easy flank for the drones. If they come in on, on Krungle, it's dead meat. What we could do is get an Overwatch and pray. Hope and pray that doesn't happen. We gotta get Commando out of there. Now we need to command. Moving to position. Oh, do we lose our command now? Oh man, are you kidding me? Well, that ability is questionable at best, given that we just... So it defaulted to giving that one guy an extra move. Bloody marvelous, that. All right, well, now I know how command works a little more. I wish I'd known that beforehand. The one possible saving grace here... Ah, there's no saving grace. Commando's gonna get it by that. Oh god, you gotta be kidding me. Um, we need to toss a grenade in that general direction to kill that drone. Maybe it'll just heal itself and be too scared to, to live. And apparently we can also not get this grenade where I need... Damn, this is one thing after another today. Let's get... Let's get this... I need... I need... I need to cover Krungle in some way. This is the best way that I know how. Alright, go. 
Oh, commando, man. I'm worried. I'm worried about my troops right now. We're a little overextend. That car's about to explode, and that's not cool. It's freaking cyber discs, man. All right, Overwatch. Hank, I need you to start making some seriously good Overwatch shots right now. I think you're in range too, though, but let's just hope and pray he is. Luckily, what I think might happen, that one might heal this one. Okay, he only single moved. That's not cool when that car explodes. Holy hell, we're okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, we got some breathing room. Hank does not have eyes on any of this. So Hank needs to come out here and reload, and then we'll get him back to uh, another out. position. Oh, now you have shots. Can you snapshot one of these and make be my hero real quick? Can you do that for me, Hank? No, we might need to get hollow up first. Okay. Whew. Well, job one is gonna get gonna be to get Commando the hell out of there before that thing explodes. Job two is gonna heal the crap out of Krungle because <laughs> guess what? Improved medkit can't happen soon enough. Um, let's knock this out of the sky. That'll be the most important thing Krungle can do for us right now. Hi. Bye. All right, we're gonna roll Krungle back here now, and we're gonna let Zoidberg go to work. And Zoidberg can triple medkit this. Wasn't that freaking prophetic, bringing extra medkits on this goddamn mission? All right, heal up. Man off the get back out there. That's paramedic. One medkit. Two medkits. Yeah, we have a lot of damage on these troops. We gotta be a little more careful than where we've been at. All right, let's get hollow up and eliminate this damn thing. Eliminate this threat once and for all. I'm afraid now of triggering whatever's up there, so I'm actually gonna pull back a tick. I mean, I could just roll up here, I guess. This is still within my, my range. I shouldn't reveal anything new, but if I reveal Thin Man right now, I'm screwed. As much as I want to knock the thing down, let's see if Leif can do do some do some nasty here. Can you do some nasty, Leif? 85% at least get hollow up on that bastard. Nice shot. Low roll, but we got hollow and we hit it. And that's pretty much all I can ask for right now. Wow. Yeah. This mission, man. It went from, oh, we're doing okay and we're mitigating risk to, holy crap, we're on fire! There we go, Hank. Unloading from the back row. All right. Okay, so we are most definitely not going after Meld right now. We are coming back here, and we're letting Zoidberg minister to our injuries. Uh, Tyler also needs to use his med kit. I think we're just going to use Tyler's on Krungle. Let's get that med kit up. Krungle, you okay? Yeah, you're going to be in the med bay for quite some time. Krungle really took it on the chin. That was a really nasty, nasty grenade throw from that... Um, from that their uh, cyber disc. Usually, usually those grenades aren't that bad, but that one was rough. I'll be honest with you, that one was rough. I'm just gonna pull people back right now, um, just so we don't necessarily make contact earlier. We're gonna send Leif up on a scouting mission once we get his health a little bit higher. I'm kinda still a bit pissed about those rockets that the angle isn't right, so I'm probably gonna do is put Jahab back aye, aye, here Commander. and steady up again. I really want javelins. Javelins are just make my, make my day at this point. Yeah, this was this was a, a rough start. That car is the most durable little like Volkswagen Golf, I think. What is that? What it's shaped like? Let's see. Oh my God! Trademark and trade dress infringement. Sorry. Um, no, it kind of looks like an old Toyota. Anyway, whatever that thing is, that shit's durable, man. I'm just gonna say. And the thing is, yeah, now we know how concealment works. You can get revealed despite the fact of being invisible. Um, that reveals you out if you get flanked uh, randomly, even without uh, moving there intentionally. So, now that we know that's the case, we're going to be a little more careful with Leif. We're going to keep him in cover uh, from a particular direction. And we're learning how concealment works one step at a time. Like I said, I don't mind learning this now uh, when it's the stakes. I mean, they're high, but they're not altogether murderously high. Oh, no, wait. Is this Krungle? No, Krungle's already healed up pretty much. Just shy of one hit point, so Krungle's all right. Krungle's good to go. Leif, however, 
The back of his truck suddenly reassembled itself. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. It looked like it all blew up, but now it's suddenly magically back together again. Okay. Concealment is good. Reload. All right. So now we have a concealment guy looking out for us. That's important. Krungle's going to roll up here. And then Zoidberg. I, we need to get Commando up in health as well. Affirmative. Just because um, he's going to be on the front line some more. Hey, buddy. That car is going to explode. I kind of know it. I'm really afraid when it does. If I had known it wasn't going to explode, I probably would not have used Command in that shot and potentially risked everything. <laughs> but we're okay. That disc was the big issue. And luckily it didn't actually unload its cannon on anyone. We're going to keep switching kind of Overwatch positions one after another. Moving to position. Excellent's doing fine. Let's overwatch up here. Let's go up here with Yassine. A little closer. Any bit that we can get a more accurate rocket on would be useful. Alright, Commando's within a hit point of full health, so that's fine. Let's roll out here and hunker. Want him available when the shit hits the fan. Krungle, uh, just... Overwatch for now, and then we'll probably reload Overwatch. There's the car explosion. We had two turns, basically. So, good to know. Thin men are coming. You hear that? I do indeed. I do indeed hear that. My goal now is actually... Um, well, first of all, let's let's move Excellent off. Copy that. I, that car's gonna explode now. It's getting better and better. Zoidberg's like, every single medkit I brought, I needed. And this is why we're getting enhanced medkits, people. Like, seriously. This is why we need them. Because shots like that. Uh, that's also why Guardian mechs are really good. Because they can overwatch like crazy, and also... If you take a bad grenade, you can just get to the Happy Juice factory and be okay. Alright. Oh, Zoidberg, Zoidberg, Zoidberg. What can we do with you? Let's just overwatch on this corner. And man, that has been a rough, rough start to this mission, folks. We may still be looking at two more pods, so I'm going to call it there for now. Um, that was that was a rough start. We got another disc down, and we didn't have to use explosives for it. I hope that car exploding didn't kill the uh, the salvage, but I'm going to guess not. So thanks so much for tuning into this episode. We will pick this up next time when we see how we can close this mission out. Damn, it's been a rough one. That's been Urs. We're all healed up. I'll see you next time. Till then.